Hello, international bears. Welcome to our special podcast, Global Den Diaries, your friendly guide to navigating life at Missouri State University. Yes, indeed. So we're here to make sure that your transition is as smooth and comfortable as possible. So think of us as your first friends on campus, aside from your glam mentors. And yes, every international student has been assigned a glam mentor. So please do well to reach out to them and respond to their emails. I'm Kadesh Jonathan Cloudon, one of the administrative GAs at the International Services Office. And my name is Christabel. I am a graduate assistant at International Programs. Nice. And throughout this podcast series, we'll be sharing information from academics to social mm-hmm. life to navigating homesickness and everything that's attached to the culture here at Missouri State University in Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> and today we will be discussing another important topic, and that is finance and budgeting (laughs) okay so once you arrive in springfield in august if you're coming in for the fall um after the 10th of august you should have your full billing statement when i say your full billing statement i mean um your tuition cost um your student services fee if you have any books assigned by your professors your insurance and all of that information you should have all that once you log into your msu account it is important to have an idea of how much you'll be paying throughout the semester know that um, the financial services department has a payment plan available to students so you can make three equal payments payments. throughout the semester however (laughs) if you decide to go with the payment plan Uh you will be required to pay a one percent finance fee charge on the unpaid amount but that is really good it is a good option you don't need to pay everything up front once the billing um, statement is charged to your account yeah. so i advise students to you know go by the um, payment plan and make payments three equal payments throughout uh, okay. the semester yeah i think another important thing too is uh, within that same billing section in your missouri state um there's the option there for international payments so of mm-hmm. course uh, if your parents are paying from a bank back home or you uh-huh. don't have access to the credit card uh, we do have flywire in there mm-hmm. that you can go in and make international payments towards your tuition or fees but of course they do accept uh, deb- debit and debit credit, cards, and as credit well. cards as well so, you know always you can always use those to pay or add balance to mm-hmm. your uh, billings or statements yes and the bursar's office also accepts cash so if you have cash in hand you could always walk in with your bearpass id to make a payment cash money, <laughs> cash money. <laughs> Uh, we're going into a bit more of let's look at some of the fees that we we explore as international students mm-hmm. you know so there is i think about it in two ways so yep. per semester and then per month, month. so mm-hmm. per semester things that you'll be charged um to your university account is stuff like your tuition she mentioned that yeah, student fees uh, student fees your books and school supplies your health insurance <laughs> and then sometimes it might be like departmental equipment like if you're in in sciences, sciences and the yeah. official gear that you mm-hmm. need lab Last, yeah, mm-hmm. and of course, one thing to think about is seasonal clothing. It gets really cold in in Missouri, <laughs> Missouri. especially during winter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so always uh, set aside, um, I guess, finances per semester for those seasonal, for those seasonal um, changes. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the per month side, things like like rent, like rent, mm-hmm. um, like rent as insurance. You can need that if you're renting. Your phone bill. Oh, you need to make calls, <laughs> WhatsApp, and Facebook. call your parents back home. <laughs> Uh, groceries, you know, um, you have to eat. Yeah, if you have a car, you need a car insurance. Oh yeah, and uh, what about car maintenance? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tie and need air, you know, different things. Whoa, <laughs> like more, that is so expensive. You know, so those are the two <laughs> things, or the two categories that I look at really per mm-hmm. semester, which is usually charged to your student's account. Mm-hmm. So you can pay them off in those three yeah. equal payments. Mm-hmm. And then the per month charges that you need to really consider. True. You know, um, another thing would be income. Income, yeah. I mean, how do we as international students get income? Money. You know, mm-hmm. um, so the two main sources for us would be one, uh, being employed on campus as a student worker or a graduate have, assistant, a graduate assistant, mm-hmm. uh, which I guess offers like a, a tuition Shame waiver and, and then a stipend. Oh, they pay you money to work. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one main source of income as international students, because we're not allowed to work off campus. Mm-hmm. So we work on campus in student worker positions or through GAs. GAs, yeah. And then, of course, if uh, I mean, you 
have money back home, or your parents is willing to send you some money. Flywire fly back. <laughs> Flywire again, you mm. know. So those are the two main sources of income for international students. Um, what else is there to mention as we think about finances? I think we've covered everything. We've given you a basic idea of what you need to know when you arrive. We would have more information during our new international students orientation. So if you haven't registered yet, please do well to do so. I think one more thing mm -hmm. would be to check the university's website on like tuition and fees. fees. Mm -hmm. I think every year it's updated so you get an update exactly. out there. Mm -hmm. I think you may need to look uh, for your credit value. So if you're an undergrad student, maybe like 100 to like 500 mm -hmm. in the credit range. And if you're a graduate student, I think it's from 500 and up. So if, be sure to pay attention to those credit values when you're looking at the cost of your tuition. Yeah, you can find that information on your I-20 as well. It's mm -hmm. detailed very well in your I-20. So you can also look at that. Well, I think that brings us to the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. um, we do hope again, again that you've gained some information, some insights to help you feel a bit better in navigating this transition. Hope it's been smooth. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, and of course, if they have any questions, Christabel. Please do well to reach out to us at International Services at Missouri State University. And please follow us on Instagram at Mose Global. Mose Global. Mose Global. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.